word came that Pearl Harbor was being attacked, my grandmother and my mom rushed out onto the church steps and saw huge columns of smoke. My mom, as a young child, thought it was the greatest air show she'd ever seen. Later, she found out that the air show was very deadly. December 7, 1941 marks the day in which the attack on Pearl Harbor took place. Americans lost their lives that day, and America's history was changed forever. We're on the USS Bofin, and this is a World War II submarine. But surrounding us is the Pearl Harbor historic sites. In particular, the USS Arizona Memorial, where it all started with the Pearl Harbor attack. The USS Missouri Memorial is where the surrender was signed and where it all ended. USS Oklahoma Memorial, the newest addition to the Pearl Harbor story. And then just beyond that, the Pacific Aviation Museum, and that's a place where the aviation story is told. People often focus on the Pearl Harbor attack, but actually it was the attack on Oahu. If you look deep enough, you can find traces of World War II all over this island. The Aloha Tower in 1941 was the tallest building in Honolulu. And during the war, they actually painted camouflage on it to protect it. The Hawaii Theater. This is where my mother came to watch movies. And during World War II, this is where the servicemen came to get a taste of Hollywood. This is Iolani Palace, the home of the monarchy up until the 1890s. During the war, this was the seat of government for martial law. Behind me is Diamond Head. You can hike up there and actually see bunkers from World War II. Right behind Diamond Head, my mother and my grandmother looked towards Pearl Harbor, saw hundreds of planes flying over it. They never forgot that image. To be able to come here and see some of the things that they saw and feel perhaps some of the things that they felt, that really does arouse a passion. The legacy that the monuments at Pearl Harbor leave behind is not only the history of what happened, but it's what happened to those people and the stories that we take from there. And in doing so, those memorials are alive.